Hi, hi. Welcome back to Fine Fit, five interval nitro exercises on the lovely static pole. Now, this is a stopwatch timed program, which means, of course, like I've explained before, the first exercise is 30 seconds long, the next is a minute, then 30, then minute, then 30, with equal rest in between. So that is very good. Catch your breath before you get into the next exercise. Down below in the description, will give you a little better detail of what I'm talking about. Now before, like again, I tell you every time, make sure you are warmed up. So we want hips warmed up, we want the legs warmed up, especially our shoulders and of course don't forget your joints like your wrists. Now with all that out of the way, let's find out what this week's five interval nitro exercises are. <laughs> The first exercise is going to be slow chopper crunches. So we are really going to be controlling this core. So we get into the chopper crunch position and we're gonna come up and slow. All right, so we're gonna do 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other. Keep it as engaged for all the motion as you can without using momentum. Exercise number two is going to be crisscross squats. <laughs> so you start with legs apart and you're gonna cross, cross again and come down. And cross again, come down. So cross, cross, down. And you're going to do a minute of those. Use the pole if it gets a little hard, but keep going. You can slow it down, whatever you need, but keep going. <laughs> Exercise number three is going to be some shoulder mount crunches. Yes, this is difficult, but we have a variation if you are not doing shoulder mounts yet. So what we're gonna do, stand against the pole, back to the pole, pick a side for the pole to rest against. So I'll pick this side, so this arm comes up. Then I take the other arm up above that, and if you look this way, you can see that I have more room to come on this side than I do on this side. So that's a part of a way to know which side to go on. The higher hand is the side you let your head drop back on. So from here, I'm gonna drop my head back into position like this. I'm gonna take the pole and I'm gonna pretend that I'm trying to shove the pole across the room, which will then help me engage my core and lift up. So here, 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 and crunch. Now, if this is too hard for you, what I'd like you to do is get into position and I want you to come up on your tiptoes using your arms as much as possible. So here, 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 and pull it up. Come down, pull it up if you can, lift off a little, and repeat. So we're gonna do 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other. Exercise <laughs> number four, we're gonna get on the floor. So on the floor, we're gonna do choppers, but we're gonna start in the vertical position and not come down here like we usually do. So we're gonna start here. So from here, we're gonna widen and chopper crunch it. Here, keep it going. Here. So the object too is to use as little of the hands as possible when you're doing this. So as you get stronger with your core, you can use less and less pulling with the arms and yeah, good core workout. All right, our final exercise is a new one, lots of fun. So we're really gonna work on spinning on a static pole and getting this forearm hold in place. So, you're gonna start with the inside hand up high, 
inside foot is going to take its step, the outside is going to swing around, you're going to get into a climb position and get this arm into that forearm hold as you do a rotation or two around the pole. So this is really going to work on multiple levels with hand grip and letting it spin as well as that forearm as well as <laughs> working your core. So here we go. Inside steps, outside comes around and my forearm hold. So other way, switch hands, step up, swing around, and forearm hold. So you're gonna do 30 seconds, so just go one way, go the other way, keep going <laughs> for 30 seconds. And that is this week's Find Fit.